Hello guys, welcome back to Wes Life, episode 43. Wow, I, I just want to start by apologising. If you did listen to uh, last week's episode and were excited to listen to this episode on Sunday evening, I apologise because you didn't get that opportunity to. Sunday was a very busy day for me, and I was going to record this yesterday, but um, yesterday was a very, well, it, it was pretty loud in my house. There wasn't a good optimal time to record and in the evening i was quite busy and so here we are instead tuesday and i'm probably going to record another episode this week for you don't worry but yeah good things come to those who wait i've learned that in life and so we got a good episode for you today i'm going to talk to you about uh, my trip to italy but before we do that let's just jump into where's where's so a few days have passed um and since my last episode, I've been out on some walks, as I normally have. Went out walking. I can't remember what day it was, but I did go on a walk. I just went to go and see some friends in Liverpool on, I think it was Saturday night, which was fun. We played some board games and um, ate a load of cake. <laughs> I also had a pizza, which was really nice. It was um, a, a tiger bread pizza, which... I would recommend if you've never had pizza and tiger bread before, but it was good. So I had that. Um, and Sunday, oh my days, Sunday was a brilliant day because if you don't know, lockdown in the UK as, well, I say UK, but I mean England because I know Wales are still very strict on the lockdown and stuff. I don't know what it's like in Scotland and Northern Ireland. Um, I'm probably just, well... Maybe, I don't know, not selfish, but I just look up, oh, what's the rules in my area? So, yeah, in England, lockdown has eased to the point where now we're able to go to church, um, which is brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, it's not the same as it used to be in terms of, like, we can't actually sing hymns and we're not allowed... Um, well, we don't have tea and coffee and things like that. And we've got to be sat, well, socially distant. Um, but church is open. And it's been, it was great because I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've been honest with a lot of people. Like, I struggle so hard to, like, listen to, like, um, sermons over, like, Zoom or YouTube and stuff like that. Like, I don't know what it is. I just find it hard to concentrate. Um, but in person, I find it much easier. So it is a blessing. And I um I went around to Jack Jack's house, and uh, we spent some time together in the evening, which was nice. Um, so that's what I did on Sunday. Yesterday, um, did some other type of zoomy stuff, and oh man, sister had some, well, a friend around. So it was yeah, it was just a loud, busy day. I was looking forward to recording this, but couldn't. But yeah, anyway, that's what that's where's Wes. That's where I've been up to, what I've been doing. Um, but Wes says, I, like I promised, I said I'm going to talk about my trip to Italy. So, um, going on two years ago now. Well, it would have been two two years ago now because we're in July, aren't we? Because I went in June of 2018. Um, my best friend Jack, he got he got he was getting married in Italy, and I I was his best man at the wedding. It was. It was fun, it was an experience. But a few of us who were going to the wedding, um, we decided to go to Italy for two weeks. We thought, yeah, we'd make a trip out of it because, you know, why not? Like, let's make the most of it. And we'll get a hire car and we'll just road trip Italy. We'll go around and we'll visit loads of places and we'll see loads of different things. And uh, it'll be an amazing time, amazing experience. That is exactly what we did. So we um, we went over there. And uh, we didn't even stay in one place because we were going around Italy. We stayed with, well, we stayed in different places. We got we stayed in a villa type thing um, for a few nights, and we stayed with some friends. Uh, and it was like all it was all over the place, really. Like um, we started off in Novara, where Jack's now wife Noemi and her family lived there, and we went visiting them. And then we went down south, um, stayed with a family there, 
and we went visiting loads of different places. So we went to like you know the big places like Rome, um, Florence, um, Tuscany, like Pisa, Verona, um, Milan. Um, you know the big the big names. The only place that we didn't go where I really wanted to go. It's hard for me to actually remember all of this now because. Because we went to so many different places and we didn't just like do a day at one place like some well we did on some big ones like we spent the day at rome and things like that and, but some days we just went to like two or three different smaller places and stuff um so yeah but the main place we didn't go to that i wanted to go to was napoli um so one one day i'm gonna go i'm gonna return to italy and go to napoli because that's the one place in italy that i you know, it was on the list of places that I wanted to go to, but we didn't go. So, but, ah, well, it was still good. We had a really good time. Um, Jack got married in the middle of the trip. I can't remember what day it was exactly. So we spent a lot of the first half of the trip down south. And then we spent a lot of the second half of the trip in the north of Italy. Um, but it was fun. It was a really good time. I think one of my favourite days was actually, I think it was maybe the first or second night, we went to some small little town called Vasto. That was in the south somewhere, I think. And um, I just remember we got these huge ice creams that cost like two euros, and they were absolutely huge. And I was like, what the heck? Like, if, if I was getting an ice cream this big in the UK, it cost me like £4.50 or something ridiculous. Um... <laughs> That was a nice, really nice little time. I'm just going to have a drink of water, if you don't mind, because I'm quite thirsty. There we go. Right, so, yeah, that was one of my favourite days. Um, but yeah, I want to talk mainly about the, the hire car situation, because it was really, really funny. What? Well, it's funny looking back on it now. At the time, it wasn't actually that funny. But um, yeah, we we all decided let's get a hire car that we all can drive together and stuff. Uh, you know, we all we've got our licenses. Let's do it. And so um, we got a hire car. And this one day, this was after Jack's wedding. Um, it was like towards the end of the trip. Well, actually, no, it was about just over halfway through, and uh, we were going to Florence. And so we were going to Florence, and I was driving at this point, and we, when we got there, we parked, I was parking up, and as I parked up, I was trying to do, well, I pulled into this space, and my front tyre, as I was pulling in, it kind of scraped against the, um, the pavement, and I don't know why, but the pavement in Italy is like, well, like, this pavement, what I'm talking about, was really, like, high and sharp. It wasn't, like, smooth. It was really sharp. And as I pulled in, my tyre kind of hit the pavement and scraped it a little bit. And next thing, there was a loud bang. Like a big... Pow! And then it was like a... Pow! It was almost like a balloon kind of popped and then deflated. And, like, oh, it was... At the time, we kind of we laughed. It was like, "What the heck?" And we got out, and the the tire was like, "Oh man, it was just like, oh, it had a big gash in it, I think, and it's pretty much like we couldn't drive it." So, what we did was we rang up the insurance company, and we were like, "Oh man, what's going to happen?" Um, and it was like very crazy. It's like unknown. Like, "Oh man, is it is it going to be fixed? Can we fix it or not? I don't know." Blah blah blah. I was like worried about the insurance and things like that. So they came out to us, and all they did was just change the tire to the, you know the donut in the back. So they changed it and they said, right, you just got to drive to the um, car hire place, and um, yeah, they'll just swap out the car for you. Um, so we thought we were panicking a bit because we were like, let me, we've already like spent a load of money on this trip, and we're, we're not. You know, we're all pretty poor. We're all, well, I think we were all students at the time, actually. Um, so we're like, right, <laughs> what's going to happen? So we we took, we drove to the closest higher place, which wasn't even that far, to be honest. We drove there, 
and then we um we parked up, told them what happened, blah blah blah, filled up some forms, and then they gave us a new car. So we're like, right, sound. Gave us a new car. And then this was the craziest bit. We were driving out of the place, got onto a first set of road, gonna go back to Florence. Um, and we're going through this junction. I wasn't driving at this time, it was my friends, and we're driving through. And our light was on green, and to the right, as we're going through, probably about 30, 35 miles per hour, that kind of speed. As we're going through, I see this guy on a moped coming up on the right. And um, it I, it was like in slow motion. I remember seeing him and I was like, no. And then we like smashed straight into him. And he went flying. And I thought, like, flip me, we've probably killed this guy. Because he wasn't even wearing like a proper... Kind of helmet it's like one of them weird moped helmets where it's just it doesn't cover all your face at all i thought flip me if we just killed this guy and like almost immediately he just stood up and he kind of like shrugged his shoulders at us like i thought say what the heck why did you just hit me <laughs> and so it was like it was crazy i just remember being like what the heck is going on so we got out and he was like he was looking around on the floor and was like what is he looking for and then he picked up a, his shoe and his sock and he was putting his sock on his shoe and I, I just remember I turned to my mate and I was, we were laughing at him we hit him so hard we actually knocked his sock off and it was like, it was ridiculous, I don't, it was crazy, the craziest thing ever um, and he was just so, so incredibly drunk so it was very clear like quickly what happened so basically he'd, on through his red light and smashed you know i was, was on green smashed into him but i for some reason nobody was trying to help us like nobody around were like that bothered nobody was trying to speak to us nobody was doing anything people just didn't care and we were trying to ring the police and ring the insurance company and all this police every time we tried to speak to them they just put the phone down on us or they just wouldn't answer very very stupid um and when we tried to speak to people they weren't really that bothered they were like whatever not not my problem and uh yeah so we rang up the insurance company and they said oh well is the car drivable and i looked and the like our the front bumper was completely like almost it was like pretty much off the whole bonnet was absolutely smashed in and stuff i was like uh i'm not sure but we don't we've only driven like less than 10 minutes away and he said, "Well, if you can get to the um, to the insur the you know the car company, we can get you a new car." Now that they 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 said that they were actually closing in like fifteen minutes, it was like very annoying because we were like, "Oh, flip!" So uh, if we didn't if we didn't get there, we would have been stuck in Florence all night. So the the guy who was on the moped. He actually, at this point, we helped him, like, move his bike. His bike was absolutely in, like, pieces. There was, like, loads of pieces just scattered everywhere. So we collected the pieces and moved his bike to the side. But at this point, he started, like, almost crying a bit. And then he was, like... Oh, sorry, guys. He was, like, trying to speak to him. And then we said, have you got insurance? And he was saying no. And, and then we said... Um, well, we were just trying to say, wait here for us. Wait here. And then next minute, he just started running off. And so one of the guys who was with us, he just we were like, "Oh, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to go after him because we're trying to sort this out." It was on the phone, so he he goes after him, and his phone's dead, and we didn't even realize. But he ran after him, and his phone's dead, and so his phone's dead. He runs off after him, and then um, so there was four of us, by the way. So he runs off. Then there's three of us with a car car company says right come to us blah 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 and they say oh you need the details of the guy you've hit and so i was like oh well you've not got his details he's run off like oh um you get can you try and get his details and so he um my friend we tried ringing him we realized his phone was dead they were like my two other friends were like right where's you gonna have to go after we are gonna have to go and find him i was like what the heck? like how am i supposed to find him it's like finding a needle in a haystack i have no idea which way he went so i um 
they get in the car, they try to drive off to the car place, whatever. <laughs> the car like absolutely crumpled in the front. And I just start running the way that um other friend this guy went. So I'm just running for ages and I literally couldn't I, w I was running like down every single street. I was shouting his name, um, and I was just so incredibly lost. I didn't have a clue where I was. And that after about probably eight or nine, maybe going on ten minutes, I'd say, of like running down all these different streets, incredibly out of breath, I s I hear my friend's voice saying, "Please stop!" And I go down the street and I see the guy and he's running, and then I. I don't know why, but it was like, instant reaction was just, I shouted, stop, police. So I was like, stop, police. And then this guy just stopped and he was like frozen in fear. He was probably like, in his, he was in his late 40s as well, this guy. He wasn't like a young guy. And as soon as he stopped and he froze in fear, he just started crying loads. Just crying loads and saying, please, like, please, no, whatever, or something. And I just, I said, have you got... Have you got your license? And then he gave it me. And I just took a picture of it at the front and the back. And uh, just sent it to my other friend. So then they showed the license to the um, car company or whatever. And I don't know what happened to that guy. Because some... some um, Well, there were some Italians, like locals, like walking past. And they started having a go at me and my friend then. Thought, they thought that we were like bullying this guy or whatever. So we told them the situation. And then they were like, oh, right. And then it seems very apparent that they weren't actually that bothered at all. So they just kind of walked away and stuff. It was just very stupid. Eventually, though, what happened at the car place? They, um, they went back, went inside. They were just about to close. And then the woman who previously sorted out that car said... Oh, how's the car for you? And we said, oh, yeah, we crashed it. And she went, oh, yeah, but how's the new car for you? He's like, no, we've crashed the new car. And then her face just dropped, like, what the heck? And then she had to quickly sort that out when it was like she was getting ready to go home at the end of her shift. Oh, it was messy. But then we got a new car. And um, the new car was actually a lot better than the first and the second car that we had. It was a two-litre diesel Fiat Punto. I can't remember the first car we had. Yes, I don't even remember the second car, but I know the second car was a lot worse than the first one. Because we'd... They were all moaning at me saying, Oh, Wes, if, you hadn't have, if you'd have just parked the car properly, we wouldn't have this crappy car now. And I was like, oh, sorry, it was an accident, blah, blah, blah. And then, crash, get a new car. And we were just, oh, man, that night, we were just all, like, almost, like, sick to our stomach, worrying about how, like, how much is all this going to cost us, like, just... No, it's that car's been written off and <laughs> it's just oh it was very very ridiculous uh but then yeah we ended up going to florence <laughs> we went went to florence and it was actually beautiful i highly recommend it um so yeah i don't know what happened with that guy i don't know yeah maybe he's still in italy hopefully not crashing into other people but yeah we carried on with the rest of the trip and it was good and uh on the last day when we were going back to the the um airport I noticed that there was a massive scrape down the car that we had and we didn't do it so i think someone had scraped down the side of us like as we were parked up and like flip sake how much is this gonna cost now so we, we we went back to the airport went to the hire rental car company whatever um filled in some forms we were dreading it thinking we're gonna get some big bill and then they just said oh right there you go, that's it. Um, hope you've enjoyed your holiday. Have a nice flight home. And we were like, got a minute, do we not have to pay anything? Because we like, we destroyed the tyre on one car. We pretty much involved with writing another one off. And this one's got a big massive scrape down the side. And he was like, no, you're covered with the premium insurance that you paid for. And then we were like, what the heck? That is amazing. So we went on there, we got a... Went on the flight home. Oh, the flight home was ridiculous, by the way, because, um, yeah, like, a friend of ours almost missed it. He was, like, super close to missing the flight, but it was, it, it was, he got on it in the end. It was pretty funny. But, yeah, um, when we paid for the 
car at the beginning they said oh do you want to pay for the premium insurance it's an extra i think they said it was an extra three or four pound day that's how much it worked out they were like eh, go on then might as well because you know we're here for a while and we've heard that the drivers the reputation of drivers in italy is not the greatest so we decided to go for it and it completely covered us on literally anything and so no matter what happened we didn't have to pay a single penny and that was the best decision we'd ever made in our entire life because otherwise we would have oh man we would have been in so much debt <laughs> but it's covered and it's all sorted and i don't have to look back on it and you know worry about it or regret i look back on it now and it's like funny memories and there's loads of other things that happened in italy to be honest like loads of other little things it was like a really it was like that's the first time i've ever been on a flight so it to me felt like one of the first ever holidays that i've ever been on you know, it was really good there was so much of it that was yeah just enjoyable um tried loads of different amazing italian food met loads of great people even stayed with people who i hadn't even met before and that was like in itself was a great experience because they were amazing people and i'd love to go back and see them the one day i am going to go back to italy probably for a similar length of time i i guess and probably spend about two weeks there because it's a beautiful country and i know a lot of people in there and i'm yeah i'm desperate to go back and that's i'm also learning italian going through learning italian at the minute and looking forward to going back and be able to use whatever kind of <laughs> italian speaking skills i've got um and look forward to it but that's where it says probably a bit of a long one um compared to recent episodes but anyway i'm going to share some wise words with you and i you know what i when i was when i was thinking about all this trip um i actually turned it into a children's talk and i've even kind of shared it at youth groups too and so looking at all that situation what happened with us it really ma makes me think of christ and um what he's done for us and you know we can we can go through life um wait actually i need to i need to um re say that um that whole situation looking back on it and i see the insurance that reminds me of like as a christian when we put our trust in christ it's almost like that insurance because some people like some like religions and you know some people have beliefs that you know you've constantly got to um you know well try and do good works and make sure that you're doing more good things than bad things and you need to be seeking forgiveness of the wrong and although that is true we should be seeking forgiveness of the sin in our life the the bible doesn't say it's about our works is about only what christ has done when we put our trust in christ it's almost like we're covered and like when we were when we paid for that insurance we were covered but that didn't mean that we went around driving the car recklessly and smashing it open purposely trying to get in accidents you know because it was like enjoyable or whatever and it's the same as a as a christian we don't purposely go around trying to sin and do wrong but accidents do happen you know we can't you know we, we do you know we we commit sin we do wrong and even though we are sorry we, we ask god to forgive us when he when christ died on the cross he died for our past present future sins we were completely forgiven and made clean and yeah that that trip and what happened with the whole car insurance and the things that just reminds me so much of the gospel and what christ done for us um and so what i'm saying really is you know it's wise to um go for these premium insurance you know with these companies and be covered but how greater is it knowing that we are covered so that when we leave this world and we go into eternity we're going to enter into heaven with christ we're gonna you know it's not even just about that it's not even just about being covered 
It's also having that relationship with him. And it's almost like our life has purpose and meaning. And it's just a wonderful thing to think of. And so that's kind of my wisdom to share with you. Just think about it and have you have you have you got that insurance, I guess, how you covered? Have you got a relationship with Christ? Um, because if not, think about it. And if you think about it and you want to do something about it, do something about it. Does that? But yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna ask me more questions about this, I'll just talk about anything. Do try and just contact me. Uh, I'd love to be able to just chat with all, well, anything with you. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you look forward to the next episode. Uh, if there's anything you want me to talk about, please do let me know. But until next time, have a wonderful week. Enjoy. And cheery bye.